Evil, 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 evil. That is the feeling I woke up with this morning. Evil, evil, let me explain. Last night before bed, I got a little hungry. So I was like, let me go get a snack. I had two cheese sticks. It was, they were great. But then I just woke up full from the cheese sticks I ate before bed. Waking up full is such an evil, dark-sided, like it's an evil feeling. There's no need for you to wake up from sleeping with a full stomach. That is an evil feeling. And the thing is, is it's like, why did two cheese sticks make me full? Nobody come for me. Well, you can actually, I accept this, I know it's wrong. I like eating before bed. I like eating a full meal and then going to bed. And I know like that's like the number one health thing you're not supposed to do. I've done it my whole life, which doesn't make it okay, but I love doing it. I love eating a big meal and going to bed. It helps me sleep. I swear I get the best sleep on a full stomach, but typically like throughout the night, you know, my food will it'll process or whatever, you know, goes on down there. I don't really like knowing what goes on in the inside of the body. It creeps me out. I don't like the idea that I have a skeleton in my body or like the cell. I don't like, that's like, I don't like thinking about it, but anybody else hate thinking about like the inside? It's just, ooh. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up full. It's just, that's not right. You shouldn't wake up full. You should wake up hungry. Then why did cheese sticks? make me feel like this i can't stop doing this by the way the white people smile because it like feels so right which i mean i guess it's in my dna to it's just a comforting thing and now i'm like all the time just walking around like <laughs> i don't know if i should no i'm gonna tell you this because this is so funny i have to tell you this so i like to eat in my bed i snack in my bed Oh my gosh, it's like, ow, right here like hurts. And so I decided to take a peek at right here and I have scratches all under my boobs. And I'm like, what happened? What happened when I was sleeping? And I was like, oh my gosh, I must have been laying on crumbs. So I just go look by where I was laying and I found this. I found this and I found another little piece. I was attacked. I literally just cut myself up from sleeping on crumbs. You guys, eating in bed has its da it's dangerous. Eating in bed is dangerous. Okay, but I actually want to talk about um, that food I was eating in bed. Oh my god, do I not have another one? I like put one aside because I wanted to show you. <laughs> I think about you guys. I'm always thinking about you guys. I literally put one of these little crackers to the side on my bed. Oh my gosh, is that the one I was laying on? because I wanted to show you guys it because it reminded me of something from my childhood. Okay, I found it. This is what the cracker is. Now, this is what cut me up, but now look at this. Does this remind anybody, specifically people that grew up in the Catholic Church of anything? It reminds me of communion. Does that not look just like communion? I'm also not Catholic, by the way. I have all my sacraments up to date though, for anybody who, who understands that religion. I got, I got, baptized i then did reconciliation first communion confirmation next i think is me marrying a man which i'm i'm not gonna do but maybe i gotta get them all no maybe i just do it and then i win like what do you win when you get all your sacraments i don't know i feel like i might be a little being a little offensive what is that oh my god did i cut my face too Sleeping is wild, you know? <laughs> it's time to get your rest. It's time to get your rest. This is my, what I slept in. One thing I've been trying to do, cause I'm working on my mental health. And one thing is not staying in the clothes that I sleep in all day and actually putting on an outfit every single day, even though I don't go anywhere uh, or see anybody. Also my hair is the longest it's ever been in my life. And I'm, um, yup. I have always dreamed of having super, super, super long hair. And like, it's, I don't ever remember a time that my hair has been this long. So this is really exciting for me. It's like cold out now and it's even colder in the house than it is outside. And like the heat doesn't get turned on yet. We're at that phase. If you, if you know, you know. So layering is now like a must. Uh, I want to get dressed, but I want to do a cool transition. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. Outfit. Outfit is on. Um, what to do, what to do. Oh, you guys wear bunny ears because they're cute. I wear bunny ears so me and my daughter 
can bond deeper. Okay, she doesn't like when I talk. Fun fact, she hates when I talk. And so she's now gonna try to chew on my clothes until I shut up. Yes, queen. You have to respect it. She said shut, shut the beep up. Hey, bun bun. You wanna know something cute? Every time I walk past her, I say, hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. And now when I say pretty girl, she knows I'm talking about her. Nope. Exploiting my child for abuse. Yep. Um, we need to talk. We need to talk. Let's go outside and let's have a chat. I can't stop doing this. Ugh. It's so cold and I am barefoot. I wonder what my neighbors think. I'm always out here just talking to myself. Ooh, and now I'm in bunny ears. We need to have a serious conversation about my eyes. So, people nowadays are like so conscious and like aware, you know, that like you shouldn't make comments about other people's bodies. You know, it's like if you notice something and it's like you shouldn't comment about it. Everybody is just so, you know, like aware like you don't comment on other people's bodies like that's just not like why would you do that which is like great or whatever okay, i have like bunny hair in my mouth look at how we have progressed so happy i am happy but then it's like for people like me who like you can use your the things wrong with you for attention online it's like, well, if nobody's gonna bring up my lazy eye, then I have to bring it up. So let me address it. I have a lazy eye. And it's like, okay, I'm never gonna comment about it, which is so weird because it shows in every video. Like, watch. Like, if I look at anything, like, a little too. So basically, it's called six nerve palsy, and I was just born with it. And I had to do vision therapy when I was a kid. So I would like go to this place and like do vision therapy. So I could like pull my eye out because it used to be way worse. I used to, my eye was just like, and I'm allowed to do this. I have a lazy eye. My eye would be like all the time, uh, which would be fine if it was still like that. I, I don't think I would, I wouldn't care. I actually think lazy eyes are cute, period. Um, but yeah, I have a lazy eye. So please give me attention for it. Uh, I would like some attention. It's so cold. I have a lazy eye and nobody wants to comment about it. No one wants to bring it up so I can then bring it up for some attention. Why does everyone have to be so kind? Why do we have, why did we as a society have to progress so far that nobody makes rude comments about other people? No, I'm just kidding. Obviously that's such a good thing. But yeah, I got a lazy eye. And now that you know, maybe you didn't know, you'll notice it a lot more. <laughs> lazy eye check. Okay, I'm going inside, but I also thought it'd be nice to come outside. It's a little change of scenery for you guys. So let me get you guys some more outside footage because I'm always just inside, you know, there's nowhere else to go. So, Could you see me or was I behind the bush? Anyways, let's go inside. I'm in the Pizza Hut. I'm in the Taco Bell. I'm in the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. It's dinner time and I'm going to make some soup, okay? And nobody lie to me. I need total, complete honesty. I'm so honest on this channel. I'll tell you guys any weird thing I do. Just someone, just please be honest with me. Do you guys, do people actually, like, when you get soup from a can, do you guys actually cook it on the stove? Is this something people actually do? Because I'm going to be real with you. Never in my life have I done that. Into a bowl. Into the microwave. Into my tummy. I also love cold soup. Does anybody else love cold soup? I'll eat soup cold. Sometimes I won't even heat it up. I'll just put it right into a bowl and eat it. But please, please, do you, are you guys like, is this something you guys are really doing? Like, are people really putting their soup on the stove? Or is this just something that I see people do in YouTube videos? And like, just to show off a little bit. Someone tell me the truth. And don't lie. Who else puts just their soup in the microwave? Who also, oh, British people. You guys aren't gonna like this. I'll do that with my tea too. I'll just put the tea in the microwave. Not in the kettle. I have a kettle, so that's like half the battle, but I don't use it. I don't have, like, it's so much, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Okay. Right now you're balancing on my laptop and you know what else is balancing on my laptop? My soup, which I need to not do because 
uh, to make a long story short, basically I ruined my, I'm using a laptop that's really shitty because I spilt water in my nice laptop. So I'm using a, a laptop that's shitty because I spilt water in it. Yes, I've spilt water in three laptops actually. And I spilt water in this one, but it didn't break break, but the other one broke broke. And now I'm like, let me just rest soup on there. I'm crazy. I'm so wild. <laughs> okay, we're gonna craft. Craft time. I totally forgot. Okay, we're making candle art. I have candles that I bought from the dollar store. And there's another one. I just don't know where she is right now. Girl, where are you? Okay. Have you ever seen on on, on Etsy? They're like candles that are like bent really coolly i learned how to do it all you have to do is put candles I, I learned on tiktok thank you tiktok all you have to do is put candles in hot water for 15 minutes and then you can bend them and then put cold water on them and then they'll go back so let me find the candles and then okay i have them sitting in hot water and we're leaving them in there for 15 minutes okay so while the candles are like sitting getting ready to bend i'm finding things to put them in uh to like stick them on and i'm thinking i have this little Dude, I just need to get the cork out, but the cork is like glued in. I could put a candle in there. And then I also have this kombucha bottle. And I always save my kombucha bottles because they're literally so cute. And I use them to put candles in, hydroponic plants. Like, save your kombucha bottles. They're so cute. Just gotta take the tag off. See, look. Because you can just take... <laughs> yup. Little update. I went into the bathroom and I couldn't help myself. And I started bending one even though it wasn't ready. And I almost broke it in half. So we... Stop! I need to wait like five more minutes. Ugh. Okay, I need to try to get the cork out. It's it's kind of clear to me the only way to get the cork out is to destroy the cork and just so I'm having the scissors and I'm going like this just wildly, and I cracked this, and so a piece of the glass from this went flying and it's on my floor somewhere and I don't know where it is. So fun. That's gonna be fun. A fun little thing. Just something fun, just something fun for me to have to think about. I might step on glass, a sharded, a sharded piece of glass, because I don't know where it went. And I know you're like, go look for it. Nah. I just don't care enough. And what sucks about this breaking? It didn't even break in a way that I can get the cork out more. It didn't even help. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Notice how my ears are all messed up. Also, if you're like, what if you want the cork? I have a ton of corks because I have a bunch of little water bottles. So I can literally like, I have one I can put back in it. Okay, let's go check on the candles. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I have the bowl in here. Let's get to bending. This one to be kind of funky. <gasps> See, it's like maybe I was being too violent. Okay, come on. Let's seal you back together. You kinda I kinda broke it. I kinda broke it. Okay, so the, okay. What if I just do this? Okay. Okay, um, well that looks like phallic key. Okay. Do you guys think this looks cool? <laughs> what am I gonna even do with this one? You know what? The little artsy kids on TikTok make this look easier than it is. And it ain't that the, isn't, isn't that reality? Okay, this little piece, I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to lose you. Well, it doesn't wanna be lost, so you're just kidding. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Cause we'll cut this off. So this will be it. I kinda like that. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I actually like it. I actually like it. So here are the candles. Oh, they kind of look the same. It looks like I could only figure out how to bend them in one way because, yeah. Well, okay. Here's the finished product. There's this one, which I actually like. It does have a crack, but so do I. <laughs> There's this one. Yeah, I'm into it. And then there's this, the top part. Overall, it, it's not what I expected. But I, I think I can find a way to make them look cute. 
anyways that was the video i hope you guys had fun hanging out with me i had fun hanging out with you subscribe if you want to hang out again bye